Hi, second grade. Today we are going to talk about symmetry, similar, and congruent. And by the end of this lesson, I want you to be able to know what each one of those terms mean. So our target is what is the difference between these terms below? Symmetry, similar, and congruent. So first I'm going to talk about uh, symmetry. And symmetry is when you have an object and you can divide it into two equal parts where both sides look exactly the same. So I have a hexagon here, and I'm going to make a line of symmetry, and I'm actually just going to cut it this right down the middle of this hexagon, because you guys have told me all week how a hexagon is made up of two trapezoids. So if I lay them right on top of each other, they are exactly the same size, the same shape, exactly the same. They're equal. Okay, so that is what symmetry is, is when you can take an object, you can divide it in half, and each side looks exactly the same. So I have some shapes here, I have a couple circles, and I'm going to show you now what a line of symmetry is. If I draw a line, let's say right across the middle of this circle, that would be a line of symmetry because both my top and my bottom are exactly the same. Same size, same shape. If I fold it over or cut it on the line of symmetry, it would be the exact same. Now if I would divide my circle or make my line of symmetry right here, can I fold them over and would they look exactly the same? No, because this side is a lot bigger than this one up here. So good job. All right, so then if I do it with my triangles, let's see, I could draw a line of symmetry. Hmm, how can I make these look exactly the same on both sides? I got it right here down the middle. So now I have a triangle on this side and a triangle on this side. If I cut them, I could fold them over or lay them on top of each other and they'd be exactly the same. Now if I did a line of symmetry right here, I am definitely not going to have the same shape. I'm going to have a little triangle and I'm going to have a trapezoid here on the bottom. So that is not a line of symmetry, but these two are. Okay, so now I'm going to use this ruler as my line of symmetry, and I am going to build a little design here, and I'm going to use this as my line. So anything that I put on one line of my symmetry, I have to put on the other. So I'm just going to do a little pattern here. See, I put a diamond here, so I'm going to have to put a blue diamond here. And then I'm going to put a trapezoid here, so I have to put a trapezoid here. Let's do, oh yes, I see a nice spot for triangles on both sides. There you go, and you guys will be doing this on your own as well. So you have to know that anything you do to one side, you're going to have to do to the other. And eventually I'm going to have a nice symmetrical design that looks the same on both sides. You can make this as big as you have time for. Alright, second graders, so now I'm going to talk about the other two terms that we have in our learning target, similar and congruent. And first I'm going to talk about the word similar. Now similar means that things look kind of the same. So when I'm thinking of a shape like a circle, I'm going to draw two circles. Okay, so there's one circle, and I'm going to draw another one, but I'm going to draw it a little bit smaller. And so what similar means is that they're the same shape, they look alike, but they're not exactly the same. This one's a little bit bigger than this one. Okay, I could even make another one that's similar to those circles. Same shape, but they're different sizes. So that's what similar means. So congruent is kind of like similar, but this time we're going to have the same shape and it has to be the same size. So I have my circle here. If it was going to be similar, it would still be a circle, but it might be a different size. If it's going to be congruent, it has to be the same shape and the same size. Now I'm drawing a circle with my free hand, so it might look a little bit different, but you guys understand the idea. Let me show you with these books. These two books, they're both rectangles. 
they are the same shape, same size. I can set them on there, same shape, same size, okay? But now, what if I take a rectangle that's this size and a rectangle that's this size? They're different sizes, but they're still similar shapes because they're both rectangles. So those terms can get a little bit confusing, but you just remember that similar is like it's the same shape. Congruent, it's also the same size. So now you guys should know the difference between all of these. Symmetry is where you can cut a shape in half. Okay, remember that line of symmetry? And both sides are the exact same size. Similar and congruent are just talking about those two different shapes. If they're similar, that means they're the same shape, but they might be different sizes. And congruent means they're the same shape, same size, they look exactly the same.